Hi, I'm Zakari. Welcome to the very first episode of my first ever YouTube series. I have been playing Minecraft since forever and I wanted to give content creation a try. So here I am starting out in a brand new world. I've loaded the latest snapshot for 1.18 and I am stoked about all of the new world generation stuff that they have put in. To be honest, I am more of a redstone guy. I love building farms and automating everything. Giant storage sorting, that's me. But I think this is a great time to challenge myself to be more of a builder and not just a redstone dude. I'm taking inspiration from Hermitcraft. I love how the Hermits build such amazing structures and farms that are not just super large, but also so detailed and completely in survival. Like everything they do is mega and I want to try and build big as well. So if you're new to Minecraft, follow along and build with me. I'll include the seed in the description below, but let's get started. Okay, so step one, we need to get a bed and we need to get some tools. Um, okay, yeah, that, that's going to be hard. Uh, oh, I do see this village in the distance, though, so I am going to go check that out. Yes, all right. And what? Oh, I'm just going to take all this. Anyway, I've done a desert base before, and while it can be really cool, it's really hard to get some resources. And for this season, I also want to have a tropical theme for my base, so I'm going to look around a bit more. All this coral is really cool. Is that it? That's a shipwreck. Okay, I got to check this out. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> Mild panic. I just did a bit more exploring and I think this area is going to be perfect. The combination of the jungle and the stony peaks really gives off a nice tropical vibe and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to build here. I also love that it's right next to the warm ocean. So I kind of want to build my starter base next to it and like as soon as I start getting more resources I'm gonna like slowly move up the mountain since that's where I want to build my mega base. Okay, so the starter house is built. What do you think? As far as the design goes, I incorporated some fences and trap doors uh, to add a little bit more depth to the build. I, I like the walkway. I think it could use a little bit more improvement, but overall it's pretty good considering all I have right now is jungle wood. You know, at least it's not a dirt box. I'm not the biggest builder, but hopefully none of you builders in the comments are too upset with this. <laughs> I also like how the barrels are up on the wall. It gives you a really nice view, but also allows for a good amount of storage. I know I'm definitely going to run out eventually for storage, but uh, hopefully it's not for a little while until I've got like a bunch more resources and I can like actually make my full big storage in the mountain. Speaking of resources, you know what I need? I need some diamonds. So I'm going to go on a mining session to get some of those. You know how I was going to get all these diamonds? Well, I just spent three hours mining and I don't even have half a stack. But, you know, I think this mining session was still pretty successful. I got an absolute ton of iron and coal from this mountain. And you can even see how much is exposed on the surface still that I missed mining. And then after that, I went on down to my underwater cave entrance here and dug all the way down to negative 56. And I got a ton of materials. So let me show you. So I got a bunch of lapis, some gold, some copper. I ran into an amethyst geode, so that was pretty cool. I got a stack and a half of blocks of redstone. So I had an absolute ton of redstone and a good bit of iron. And I would have had only three diamonds, but then this happened. Wait, whoa, wait, is it still? Okay, yeah, that was a huge one. I didn't know the redstone blobs could get that big. Just this tunnel, I have two and a half stacks of redstone, two iron, and five gold. No diamonds. Like, is it going to be faster for me to get villagers and go that route? <laughs> this is crazy. Yes! They do exist. One. And it's a big one. Oh, it's, it's a 
It's a huge one. Seven, eight. Okay, I I don't. Always got to mine out the edges just in case there's some extra ones. But yeah, eight diamonds. All right, all right. You know, I'm happy. Took a while, but I'll I'll take it. <laughs> that was such a big vein too. Just when I was about to give up, that's how they. Wait, I, right here. Right here. I dug eight tunnels, and now there's two veins right next to each other. Well, that was that. Wasn't the best day for mining for diamonds, but we can do more of that later. Right now, I've built another portal and we're going to go to the nether to get some quartz so this way we can make some observers for some farms so i'm really hoping for a nether waste biome because that will be the easiest way to get a lot of quartz but honestly i'm going to be happy as long as it's not a basalt delta and we're in the crimson forest okay this isn't the worst thing in the world it I wish it was another waste, but we should be able to still get some quartz. So I'm going to go ahead and do some mining. Well, that was an absolute success. I was gonna build a single starter farm, but pumpkin pie is like my favorite food in the game. And it's actually not too difficult to be able to farm all of the ingredients. All you need is eggs, pumpkin, and sugar. And so I was originally thinking of building all three farms in like a kind of big building right here. But then I decided I can make this like a warehouse and then have the um, minecarts kind of carry the items from the mountainside and automatically fill up the barrels. I'm going to start building because I'm honestly a little bit nervous about it. I'm, I'm not a builder. I think I've mentioned this before, but um, I think just to like get the nerves out, I'm just going to get started building this uh, warehouse here and um, after I'm done with that, then I'll be able to get to, you know, the most exciting part for me, which is building the farms. All right, I got to quit stalling. I got this. I'm just going to be building the outline. And then I think hopefully the rest of the building should flow from there. And it really did. Once I got started, the rest of the building kind of just came together. I used the creative world to decide on the shape and the color of the materials that I'm going to be using, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. My favorite part about the house is the axolotl aquarium underneath the stairs. I really love how cute those guys look. I use the barrels because I think they look a lot cooler than chests, and also you can still open them even if there's a full block above them. I kept the same style as my starter house for the roof here, and I think that looks looks really cool but it also gives space to have the chickens as well as the spot that the minecarts come in and out for the other two farms. All right so now that I've finished building this warehouse I'm going to go ahead and start um, building all of the redstone to connect everything up. So um, the very first thing I'm going to do is probably want to get some hoppers behind all of these barrels so we can start connecting things up uh, to the area above. So this is actually really simple. I'm just putting one hopper going into every single one of these barrels here. And then I'm going to be doing the same for all of the rest of this. All right, and now you, you can't even tell that the hoppers are there, but they're all pointing into the chests. So now I can come up on this top side and go ahead and add in the connections to these guys. So in order to like get the items across all of them, we need to put the hoppers down and then go across. So now as the items come in, it's going to go across and then be pulled down into like the first hopper there. And then once that one's filled, it'll start being pulled into the second one. And then I was thinking of building like a three by three little area for the chickens. And so I think this is a good spot for it. I wanted to put some like moss carpets on top of the hoppers. I think that'll make it look just a little bit nicer. There we go. So now I just need to get some chickens in here. I don't have any any eggs, so I'm gonna have to go find some chickens and um, then get them into this farm. So far I'm not hearing any, I don't see any chickens. 
So this might be a bit trickier than I thought it would be. Uh, we'll have to see. Honestly, getting these chickens here took a lot longer than I thought it would. But this completes step one of getting the pumpkin pie farm. I have all of the chickens in here and now we can see that the eggs are traveling through the hoppers down into the barrels down here. And we've already gotten over uh, two stacks of eggs, so this is already great progress. So that's going to be all for today's episode. I feel like we got a lot done. I found the island where I wanted to build my base, built my little starter base over here. I did some mining. We eventually went to the nether to get some quartz. And then we built this warehouse right here for the pumpkin pie farm and we even sourced the first ingredient that we need which is the chickens for the eggs thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed honestly this has taken me about a month to make uh, since it's the first time creating content and i have a lot to learn still but this is exciting you'll have to let me know of any suggestions in the comments because i'm sure there are some things that i'm doing wrong Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.